In this lesson, we'll build a desktop application using Python. So we'll start by creating a basic window using the module called PyQt5. 5 is the latest version, although at the time of this video, 4 is still very popular, but you want to go with 5. It's the newest, the latest. So we'll import the required modules. These modules will be required for your application. We'll create a class which will define our window as well as the logic. So the class inherits from Q main window, which is a class in PyQt5. We'll have a constructor uh, which will uh, create our window. And this will also well call our init UI method. So we'll Inside, we'll define a method initUI, which shows the window. Now we'll have the main method that starts when running the program and launch this window or show this window. So it's defined as always. Uh, in there, we'll have to add queue application. Uh, which is always required for a PyQt application. Now we'll create an object of our class and we run it until the app is finished. So if we run this it will show a window. We're using Python 3 by the way. So we have a basic window without uh, status bar or title or whatever. So let's define a title. This is just the, the object variable here. And we'll say set window title to this uh, title. If we execute it, um, we'll see that it's shown there. This might look different if you're on Windows or on Mac, but uh, the principle is the same. So you can run this code and see the, the window with the title. The window is quite small, so we can change the size. So let's define a width and a height. Let's say 200 by 200. And we'll call the method setGeometry uh, width and height. And this method also requires the top and left. So if we run it, this doesn't work. Uh, it, it needs to set like the coordinates uh, of the window. So if we put it to 0, 0, .0 it's like the left top position, 0, 0. So run this. It's on the left top. So you might want to actually define that to, to make it a little bit more dynamic. Uh, so you can say, uh, let's define the variables left and top. Let's make it 40, 40. And you can set those. You run this. It's right there. final thing is to add like a status bar mm -hmm. which is pretty simple now that we have the, the main code so every window in there is uh, the status bar and you can say show message with whatever you want to appear in the status bar if you run this you'll see the status bar has a message you might want to define a variable there to make it dynamic. So put whatever message you want there, like PyQt5 example, or PythonSpot.com, or whatever you think is cool to put in a window. And set it to that message. Now if you'd run it, you see that the message appears in the screen. So this is a basic PyQt5 example. 